Hello everyone, I'm Danny Roach, and welcome to our newest Stained Glass Stories video. It's spring already, the smell of flowers is in the air, the world gets brighter and dreamier. It brings warmth to my heart. Today we're going to share our top 10 shoegaze bands as a group, which is something we should have done a really long time ago. Today's video is devoted to all the fellow Americans. Shoegaze has changed the face of music and inspired many artists over the past two decades. This unique list is the result of endless conversations between us Stained Glass Stories members. After pondering for hours, we decided that it would be nice for the world to hear our favorite music. In a nutshell, with total and brutal honesty, Number 10, Paranool. Though the overwhelming waves of sound would make you think otherwise, Paranool is remarkably just one anonymous individual, based in South Korea. They have three studio albums under this name. This doesn't include the collaborative downfall of the Neon Youth album, which they recorded with Asian Glow and San host Tomam Kanta. I don't know if it's the lo-fi sound, or that their albums are a collection of bedroom recordings. But there's such a feeling of nostalgia upon hearing Paranul's music. It's like yearning for a past that may not have even existed, and perhaps the dream for a better future. Paranul's music speaks to the childlike fantasies we have for an ideal world, and how these thoughts live in the lonely isolation of our own rooms. Number 9. My Bloody Valentine Goth band My Bloody Valentine is most known for their string of EPs in the mid-1980s. What ultimately defined MBV's sound was the creative force of David Conway. Vocalist of the group is the Irish frontman. David produced some of the group's most celebrated works, including This Is Your Bloody Valentine and Geek. At the height of their success, David would leave the group to become an author, and the band would fade into irrelevancy soon after. Number 8. Cigarettes after sex. Are you sexually active? Are you a cigarette smoker? If you are, then that's cool as fuck, and you're gonna love this next band. They're really interesting. Cigarettes after sex might have one of the most eclectic musical catalogs we've heard. Each of their albums presents a completely different sonic experience, therefore, it's not surprising that cigarettes after sex fans, on average, tend to be extremely complex characters, offering a lifetime experience of deep talking about fetishism and crying themselves to sleep to slowcore. Number 6, The Belinda Butchers. This next band is so cool that they will make you wish that Belinda Butcher actually existed. Their diversity in sound makes them one of the most versatile bands in shoelace music. This is unlike groups like Radiohead, where once you've heard Creep, you've basically heard their entire discography. Rumors say they might have taken some inspiration from My Bloody Valentine, an underground shoelace group that unfortunately tends to get criminally overlooked in the scene. Ultimately, the Belinda Butchers were able to perfect what My Bloody Valentine tried to achieve. Number 5, The Smashing Pumpkins. The Smashing Pumpkins are mostly known for their hit shoegaze singles, You're My NFT, and There Are Birds in the Ceiling. Not a lot of people talk about their double album. Too Medicated for Ghoul School, which, of course, was released before they won Eurovision 1992. Honestly, I don't even care about the Smashing Pumpkins that much. Let's talk astrology. Make sure to comment your astrological sign down below. K okay, moving on. Number 4. Taylor Swift. It is a fact that Taylor Swift is the most popular artist right now. Thanks to her work, Shoegaze in the 2020s is way more popular than it used to be. In the very early days of her career, her producers forced her to make country music for heartbroken girls and cowboys, 
without even asking if she really wanted to. After arrest, her uncle Neil Halstead motivated her and inspired her to make what she loves. Shoegaze and Dream Pop, her latest studio album. 1989 Taylor's version is a sonic achievement that redefined Dream Pop. It was produced by 80s proto-goth icon and former Psychedelic Furs member Cindy Lauper. Wait. It's time for an intermission. <laughs> We have officially launched the Stained Glass Stories Only Fans. For today only, our subscriptions are 100% off. Just like how your shoes will be in this house. Make sure to take advantage of this sexy deal of the best shoes in the game. Have fun shoegazing idiot. Okay, back to our list. Number 3, Bob Dylan. There is no shoegaze without Bob Dylan. Some may say he's closer to protégés, but regardless of how you categorize him, there's no denying that Bob Dylan walked so bands like Cigarettes After Sex could run. Even though he took a break from shoegaze, he makes music under the name Young Bob, releasing hard rap tracks with Lil Uzi Vert. Number 2, Manic Street Preachers. While Manic Street Preachers are more of a shoegaze adjacent band, they are widely known for being some of the biggest admirers of the scene. Guitarist Richie Edwards has stated his love for the band Slow Dive numerous times, citing them as one of his major influences. In a 1991 interview, he even admitted to having a weirdly parasocial relationship with the band. This led him to sleep with a copy of Just For A Day under his pillow every night as a girlfriend's substitute. But these are the lengths you go in the scene that celebrates itself, I guess. It's a bit sad, isn't it? Hold it! It's time for a second intermission. Oh god, it seems like some people unironically dislike this list. This Rob dude who runs shoegaze memes on Instagram is calling us right now. Who the hell do you think you guys are? You have it all wrong, so many years on this damn planet and you are literally the stupidest people I've ever seen. How dare you bash shoegaze? Why would you do this to a British man like me? Do you even think before you speak? You wanna send me into cardiac arrest? Whatever. You kids are total fucking assholes, your YouTube privileges should be taken away. Leave. Number 1, The Deftones. We had to give the number one spot to the band that created the shoegaze genre. This, of course, are The Deftones. This is a fact that many people don't know about. Did you know that Chino Moreno worked at Burger King before meeting the rest of the band's members? And he's also the one who taught Billy Corgan, Kevin Shields, and the Oasis guy how to play the guitar. So that was our objectively correct list. Feel free to comment your own list because it's okay to be wrong. Hell America. It is really shoegaze to subscribe to this channel. Click that stupid bell thing, like, dislike, whatever I don't even care anymore. We are trying to get to 2 million subscribers by the end of the week. So be a part of that journey today. A shout out to our four patrons, Craig S. Tile, Andrea Leon. Henry Hoyt and Jim Venaria. Stay dreamy, everyone. Oh, and one last thing. April Fools. <laughs>